preparing for its near-month-long mission on the moon, NASA's Mega Moon rocket, the Artemis One, is being rolled out to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida before its launch. Ryuji Sasaki will give us the details live. Ryuji? Kath, the rollout of the moon-bound rocket began on Thursday, carried on the crawler Transporter 2 with a top speed of 1 mile per hour. NASA says that the rocket transportation would take up 11 hours, reaching the launch pad by Friday morning. The Artemis 1 is a 322-foot stack and is built off of NASA's Space Launch System rocket, which is capped by the Orion spacecraft. Nearing its launch, NASA's Orion program manager, Howard Hu, detailed the significance of gathering performance capability information, which will be analyzed for the next Artemis 2 launch that will carry on crew in the future. Prior to its launch, a wet dress rehearsal will be conducted on the 1st of April. This process completes all of the preparations needed for launch without launching the rocket, which includes loading 700,000 gallons of cryogenic propellants on, onto the rocket. The mission is set to last for 26 days while in space. The Orion spacecraft will launch an SLS rocket headed for the moon and a further thousand miles, more than any spacecraft. In over 50 years since the Apollo 17 in 1972, the Artemis 1 becomes the first rocket headed to the moon. Kath? Ryuji, what is expected from the outcome of this mission for NASA's future prospects? Yes, Kath. After Artemis 1, NASA is planning to send a crew on Artemis 2 for a flyby of the moon while Artemis 3 will carry astronauts to the moon's surface. This largely depends on the outcome of Artemis 1's mission. However, many are confident that this will be successful as the space launch system is claimed to be the most powerful rocket in the world. In, in the world. Back to you, Kath. Thank you, Ryuji Sasaki, for that live report.